Hello YouTube, this is the Atlanta Puzzler uh, with part 3 on how to design your twisty puzzles uh, using Onshape. So in the previous uh, part of the series we created a sketch uh, that represents our slicing profile, or cutting profile, um, and uh, we constrained it with some measurements and then we clicked on the revolve icon here and revolved it around the this axis here, the x-axis, and we ended up with this shape that looks like a disc or a UFO. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to use this to di slice our cube into multiple pieces. Uh, I recommend you rename your uh, surface, actually let me call this cutting surface one because we're going to make multiple copies of this in a minute and let me go ahead and reveal the cube again and you'll see that we have um, a cube here so typically um, I automate all this process I, I kind of script it you can uh, do something called feature studio which is kind of a little advanced you can write your own scripts that will um, that will do this whole uh, tedious process uh, in, in one click almost but writing a script is, is not easy and um, you have to be a developer for a living which that's what I do for a living so I kind of got into it but um, I um, all the scripts that I have are kind of buggy and they're not well tested and I always kind of modify them so I, I want to stay away from them and I'll just go ahead and, uh, and show you how to do this manually plus you need to learn how to do this uh, manually in the beginning so I think it'll be beneficial so click on the uh, split feature here and uh, choose here in the blue area the parts or surfaces to split and we want to split the cube now the entity to split with we're gonna click and choose the disk and if we go ahead and slice the cube right now the disk is gonna vanish um, and if I do OK you see the disk is gone so let me go back and I want to make sure I do keep tools here and that will preserve the disk. It'll slice with it and it'll, it'll retain a copy for, for for the future. So I'm going to rename the split here to split uh, cube um, I'll x in the x positive x direction and do OK. And uh, you'll see here that the split is done. I'm going to go ahead and hide the disk. You'll see that we have two pieces now. Let me hide one of them and we have this part it looks like uh, one layer of a cube already and this is the second part and it looks like they're remaining the cube now we're not really going to use this anymore so i'm going to click on the eye icon here to hide it so that it won't be confusing so i'm going to keep our cutting surface and the top layer on uh, the right layer only so what we want to do next is we want to rotate the slicing disk we want to reorient it so that we can slice in other directions so first thing you do is you click on this icon here transform and it says entities to transform we're going to choose the disk now this drop down here there's several types of transformation a translation basically will slide it in a direction you want to do rotate and you have to choose an axis you want to rotate it around this vertical axis and we're going to do uh, an orthogonal, like 90 degrees here. And you don't need to check copy part yet, so just um, let's edit this to rotate cutting disk. Press OK, and now you'll see that we have the disk um, ready to slice the cube in this direction vertically. Um, so just uh, before I slice it, I want to go ahead and show you, um, give you an idea of how, how the final slicing is going to look like. Um, we're going to, let me, um, we, we're going to click on this icon here, circular pattern. You, you might, my ears might say linear. Click on the down arrow and make sure you have circular pattern. And um, what we're going to do is, um, actually one second we need I'm gonna go here to um, uh, I'm, uh, go ahead and create a sketch or you 
can use one of your existing sketches. Um, yeah, maybe this is fine. I'll go ahead and show it. Um, you, you need, we need to rotate around um, the y-axis in this case, the, the green axis here. So I, I had to um, un, unhide it. And if you don't have one, just go ahead and create a sketch on the right plane and draw a line. So let's go back to a circular pattern. And you want to choose the entity to pattern to be the disk and the axes to be this piece here. And make sure this is 360, leave it, leave it at 360 and make sure this is four. Okay, and this is gonna say, um, repeat cutting disk. Any, any descriptive title, doesn't matter. And what you'll see is now it took that disk that we had here vertically and we rotated it one way here in this direction, one way in this direction, finally in this direction. Hopefully that makes sense. But the reason why we did that because each one of them is going to dice the cube and you're going to end up with nine different parts. Of course, we're not going to keep them all. We need some of them. Okay, so to prevent any confusion, I'm going to go ahead and hide the ones I created for now. Just keep one of them. And so we only have one surface and one and one slicing surface and one uh, part visible. And I'm going to click slice again or split. I'm sorry. I'm going to choose parts to split uh, my part of my cube here. And entities to split with, I'm going to do the disk. And I'm going to do um, uh, this will be split y positive. It doesn't matter. Um, so now we ended up with two pieces. And I can show you. Um, this is the first one. My computer is um, kind of s slow. Um, and this is the other one here. You see it has kind of two edges because of the cutting profile that we used. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, unhide the next disk. Actually, go ahead and choose the other vertical disk to, I think it'll be easier to see because it's easy to get lost with all the moving parts here. So let's do split. Parts to split, I'm going to do this large piece and the entity to split with this disk. And um, just give it a name, do OK. And now you'll see that I have three individual pieces remaining from my um, from my cube. I can show you like this center piece. It's starting to look like uh, edges and centers. Okay, now let's unhide one more surface here. And we're going to say split again. The parts to split, you want to make sure you choose all three. So I chose the three pieces here that I have split with this disk and do OK. And now you'll see I already have two corners and an edge and um, we're almost done. So let me unhide the last surface, click on split again. The parts to split with, you want to make sure you choose these three and split with the disk and let's call this split um, it's actually the Z positive here okay so um, here we go everything is split and ready so let me hide the plane so you can see them better and um, we have four corners one, two, three, four, and four edges in a center. Clearly, we don't need all of them, so I'm going to go ahead and delete any unneeded parts. And to do that, I'm going to click here. And it is to delete. Don't forget, we had a large piece that we had earlier, so I'm going to delete this piece. And I'll go ahead and delete... Oh, sorry. Let's rotate this way. I'm going to go ahead and delete the corners and the edges that I don't need. And I'm going to only keep three pieces and do okay 
and here we go that's the result right here let's take a closer look um, this right here this piece is my edge oh, I'm sorry it's my corner so I'm gonna go and rename it to corner um, always use nouns for the parts here and uh, this um, I'll call it sorry, rename edge and finally oops this is the center and this is the edge okay perfect okay let's take a quick look at them before we wrap up this video I'm gonna hide everything but the corner and we have the corner it looks like this of course it needs a lot of work still but this is the overall you see it has a stem you can we can manipulate the cutting profile and adjust all these details um, let me show you the centerpiece here how it has um, how this is our cutting profile how it comes down it cuts this way and vertically down it'll look much better when we're done and this these are my um, edges and it looks like uh, torpedo and by the way if you want to know this particular design is based on I think originally based on a cube I had called Diane or something like this which became I guess V cube or V3 later um, but um, I think it, it's good for uh, speed cubing of course this is going to be 3d printed so <laughs> it's not going to be fast anyways all right so let's uh, show the parts again and I just wanted to show you um, if I go back to my sketching profile and um, let's adjust it the way we had it earlier and if I increase this for example from two millimeter to I don't know I'm gonna use five just to exaggerate a little bit to show you and I do okay you'll see that the stem of my corner changed and now it became skinny which um, j just you know and you can manipulate this and fiddle with it until it looks uh, however you like it and that's the beauty of um, sorry that's the beauty of um, using um, this kind of you know sketches and stuff you can you can just adjust it once and it's gonna apply for the entire design okay I hope uh, you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions and um, I encourage you to go through the steps and um, follow along with what I'm doing and let me know if you have any questions I'll see you in the following part thanks